Our next story is about a guy called Sir Mix a lot. I like bottoms, I like bottoms, I have one myself, it's a good size. Thumbs up for bottoms, but I have to say, I'm getting so bored of just watching these videos with these chicks with the G-strings up the butt, just jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I don't know how long it can go on. Do you agree? This can go on forever. <laughs> don't you understand? I mean, Sir Mix Light, all right, he started with butts, right? Yeah. But he's moved to breasts, all right? It's like, they, it's the greatest thing in the world. Put him on the glass, you know? This dude's an artistic genius. I mean, he can go from there, maybe the legs, then baby got feet. Yeah. It, it must just be me. I must be dim or something. I'm missing the whole thing. Right, OK, yeah, <laughs> deep, deep. I went from making $4.23 an hour at a video arcade to $1.2 million in one year. Fellas, yeah, fellas, yeah. Has your girlfriend got the butt? Hell yeah. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake, it, shake, it. shake that healthy butt. Baby got ballet feet with the open booty. Number one for five weeks. A song about big ass. Can y'all believe that? I like big butts and I cannot lie. Sir Mix a lot's ode to big butts sold three million records and earned him a Grammy. He invited Badass to Seattle to look at his house and to hear his opinions on cars, girls, guns, and bottoms. This is mine. It's funny, because if a brother says, I like big asses, white people tend to think that he's talking about this big, wide, fat, sloppy ass that's looked like mine or something. No, nah, that ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this the hourglass figure, voluptuous. <sighs> Jessica Rabbit, you know what I'm talking about? You don't need another rapper talking about, you know, let's jump in the ride and go smoke these MFs, you know what I'm saying? We don't need no more of that. We got enough of that. I do like guns, don't get me wrong. I'm not no Mr. Mega Liberal. There's an alarm with infrared beams all the way around my house. So if you're thinking about robbing me, give it up. You saying, oh, so what? You got beams gonna call the police? Nah, Mac 11 HK Street Sweeper. And just in case y'all think, well, all his guns and shit was in the closet. I don't play that shit. What's wrong with y'all? All right, let's go look at some automobiles. Outside. These is like, you know, maximum pussy snatchers. Dude told me one time that my car here looked like a penis going down the road. I bought it. I like cars because they don't nag. They don't argue and they don't have periods. They also don't, don't fuck. <laughs> so, I did try to stick my dick in a tailpipe once, but that didn't feel too cool. Tell me y'all like big asses. Look at the back of this thing. Bam! All right, this is the ghetto tank. And coming along the bottom here, this is a red tail cat. But I got one fish y'all ain't never seen in no lake nowhere. It's called an African-American flesh-filling titty fish. Check that one out. When Sir mix -a -Lot turned his attention from bottoms to bosoms, he had another huge hit, but there were complaints of outrageous sexism. Slow down and put them on the glass. The only time I've had a problem with ladies getting pissed off about stuff I do is when it's a lady with no body. Or like a librarian type, you know what I mean? My thing has never been, I don't call women bitches in my songs. I do like calling bitches in bed, though. Yeah. Bitch! That's not what it's about. It's just about appreciation of beauty. So now in my closet. Y'all remember these? Big ass go ropes. This is like back when rap was like. I'm the king of rock. There is none higher. What's this? Uh-huh. Disregarded. This wasn't in my house. 